I found myself on a train not too long ago, making a trip from Texas to Los Angeles. And while on this train, <laughs> I always go into the sightseer lounge and observe the terrain, observe the landscape. I love to watch the sun rise and fall. And a lot of people do different things. Some people play games, some people are on their laptops, some people are just talking. But this one family was playing a board game of Family Feud, where they asked different questions. And they were playing with uh, their young, young, either grandson or child, I don't know. But it was so funny to overhear this game and to hear them ask their grandson this question. What do people open every day? What is one thing people open every day? And the child answered, their phone? <laughs> that was his first answer. This child who could be, I don't know how old he was. He couldn't have been older than, you know, seven or eight. His first answer was their phone. Need I say more? <laughs> so ironically, of course, I'm on my phone at the moment using this device to communicate to you and to spread this message. But I would love to know and love to see many people opening other things other than their phones, other than your phones. If, you know, a six or seven year old kid can point out that people open their phones every day. You know, kids are very observant. They take in energy. They take in information. They're, they're like sponges, right? They absorb their surroundings fairly quickly. So I thought that that was a very good observation by the young master, right? We open our phones every day. But what else can we open besides our phones? We can open our hearts. We can open our minds. We can open our ears. We can open our eyes. We can open to the world around us. What does it mean to be open? I always love the analogy that an open mind is like a parachute. You know, it doesn't do you any good closed. What else can you open each day? besides your phone. You could open a book, right? Shoot, you could open a business, right? What could you open to expand? Now, I'm sure there are tons of things on your cell phone, I mean, that could open you up as well. Positive things, it's not all bad. Technology is really neutral, right? It's just the ways in which we use it. But what else could you open besides your phone every day it's just a thought just a little food for thought that thought I, th I just thought it was so funny to hear that from this from this little boy's mouth what is something that people open every day be a person that opens more than your phone and don't allow life to get you down and to make you closed. Stay open, but be aware, be aware. Thank you for listening. This has been Jerome Shaw on T.O.P. That is the Open Palm podcast here in Riverside, California. The Open Palm means harmony with the world, understanding our place in the world, using our skills accordingly, greeting the world with an open palm instead of a closed fist. You get that? <laughs> you get it? Thank you for listening once again. I pray that this message hits you in a nice way, that you would, would be so kind to share it with another who could benefit from this message. If you are so inclined and you enjoy positive messages like this, inspirational themes, 
Consider supporting this podcast by opening your browser now to anchor.fm slash jshaw and supporting it there. It is much appreciated. Just a tip, just anything that you could give, even one dollar to support is much appreciated. Taking just a moment to give this a positive rating on whatever platform you are choosing to listen to it is also much appreciated. And have a blessed day or night wherever you are, my friend. Take care. Thank you.